हेलो हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न विद आयशा आई होप यू ऑल आर हैविंग ए ग्रेट टाइम सो बाय द नेक्स्ट क्लास प्रीवियस क्लास व्हिच वी हैव एंड अप विद द ह्यूमन ब्रेन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन ब्रेन एंड द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सो लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेम यूनिट दैट इज द रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन आई थिंक यू माइट ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट द रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन सो let us know little bit brief intro introduction about the reflex action brain and spinal cord are the coordination center and that process where the signal receive and order the effectors to act accordingly so we are going to act according to the brain and the spinal cord messages which is been received some of the signals need to be analyzed before response is made so that in that case the reflex uh, reflex action play a significant role where we are going to analyze how and where to be make a response in such cases brain receive the analyzed signals and process the information in the light or light of information stored in it and then responds so that means as soon as the brain receive the information or get the message is not going to release the information in fact it's going to be analyzed by the brain along with the spinal cord this happens with the certain response which need to be processed by the brain and are accordingly respond immediately such responses occur at the level of spinal cord a uh, spinal cord okay so this makes the reflex action to act in a response that occur at the level of spinal cord without the brain knowing but in that condition it called as the reflex action the path which through which the stimulus travels is called as the reflex arc this, as you can see here this is the reflex arc so what are let us see some of the example in order to understand more in detail removing your hand or finger from some hot object like burning like candle or anything which is very hot as soon as you feel it is heat immediately you take out your hand so that response is given by the reflex action and let us understand one more that is blinking of eyes sneezing coughing shivering all those are been regulated and given the analyzed analyzed response by the reflex action which is being present in the spinal cord so this is the uh, simple reflex action diagram as you can see here uh, there are few label the parts these are the motor nerve fiber these are secondary for uh, nerve fibers this is the skin with the thermal receptor and motor and plates in the muscles so let us see what are these components are there in the reflex arc the first is the receptors or the sense organ to receive this uh, information or this stimulus sensory receptors or the different nerve which transmit in sensory nerves from receptor to the spinal cord and the next is the intraneuro neutral nerve or associated neurons which are nothing but the in the spinal cord which are connected with the is sensory neuron or the motor neuron where they are going to transmit the impulse from from former to the later and these neurons are also called as the intermediate neuron and then motor nerve neuron this is the motor nerve neuron and in this where the transmit the motor impulse from spinal cord to the effector effector organs either in the muscles or in the glands so how this mechanism takes place how is the process is going to be happen how this analysis of the transmit of the neuron and the nerve impulses being taken in the receptors and how does it takes place and where all the uh, functional details of this mechanism takes place let us study in detail so let us go when your finger is touch on some hot or object with 
you withdraw your finger immediately and how does this happen how you how you feel how you analyze that you have to take away your finger from this this is due to the thermal receptors the thermal receptor the skin the sense organs which makes you uh, uh, the thermal receptor which are present in the skin of the finger receive the stimulus that generate the electrical electric impulses or the electric sensory the sensory impulses where they generate are flashed by the sensory fibers and those that receives the spinal nerve to the spine with the help of spinal nerve it received to the spinal cord through this association neuron or intermediate neuron takes place where the impulse is passed on to the motor neuron from here it has been passed to the spinal cord the motor neuron of uh, the motor nerve generate impulses which are transmitted to the motor nerve nerve fibers and where the spinal nerve is the biceps of the muscles of the arm and these muscles then contract by pulling away the hand and receive this action is being performed in a fraction of second not in a minute in a fraction of second this process takes place without the brain even knowing about the event so this how how the reflex in act uh, the reflex actions takes place so uh, let us know what is this uh, uh, simple uh, oh, okay before we move to the simple nat or natural reflex or the conditioning or the acquired uh, uh, reflexes let us understand this in a more detail more detail okay so this reflection action which is being taken place without knowing the brain what actually happening in the event this reflection action pathway of nerve involves this spi the spinal cord of the med or the medulla and it is controlled in unconsciousness where the cerebrum is not even involved response is very quick and rapid within a fraction of second the response has been received the response for the same stimulus is always in the same so this is the reflection reflex action what about the voluntary action that means voluntary we have given that is the pathway of nerve impulse involve the cerebrum and the control which is been done it is in a conscious state of mind under the control of cere brum and the response is comparatively low when compared to the reflex action whereas reflex action is very quick in a fraction of second the response is been received and this response to the same stimulus may vary and even it may vary with the difference in the time also so this can be studied in the two form that is the two kind of action the first one is the simple or the natural uh, that is also called as the unconditional natural and this one as a conditional conditional or the acquired reflexes so let us know to the first one where it is where we were going to study about the simple or the natural reflexes it takes place in born or inherited reflexes no previous experience is required it is similar in almost all the human beings in all the individuals by a species reflex is directly related to the stimulus for example we draw of your hand on touching a hot object or a knee jerk reflex swelling blushing or blinking of the eyes are all been taken place with the natural without knowing the uh, without involving the cerebrum that means without knowing the brain this is conditional or acquired or the voluntary also you can uh, you can say acquired by learning or by experience may be different in different individual it differ from individual to individual depending on their capacity of learning uh, reflexes are brought about by conditioning may be totally different from the initial stimulus for example 
playing a musical instrument or such as working on a keyboard it is a voluntary voluntary action you have to take place where the control is in conscious mind under the control of cerebrum so this how the reflection takes place in two form that is by simple or by the condition or even you can call it as a voluntary reactions where few few processes or few responses takes place immediately without the involvement and the other which required by learning and even by experience so this is the simple topic which we have covered by the reflex action so next class we are going to move the further which is the somatic stomatic nervous system and then the autonomic nervous system which we are going to cover with the this chapter as nervous system thank you for your support and th- i'm extremely sorry for waiting for making you all to wait for such a long time uh, see you in the next class thank you